In this video of my 1967 Mustang convertible, I will explain and show the metal replacement, bodywork, and painting process. This project snowballed from just a simple patch panel on the front fender to me doing the car one panel at a time using aerosol can primer, aerosol can paint, and aerosol can clear. I had my local auto paint store mix up some dark moss green paint in an aerosol can for just a small patch panel on the fender. That process turned out so well I decided to do the whole car that way. Is it the best way to paint an old car? Probably not, but it worked for me and it was easy to do one panel at a time at my leisure. The car needed your typical rust replacements on any old Mustang. Uh, the worst parts of this car were the quarter panels and rear wheel houses. Um, the fenders and doors are original. They needed some body work and some patch panels in the corners and lower sections, but I was able to save them. I was able to score some nice uh, Shelby reproduction pieces, the hood and the trunk lid off of Craigslist and made that a neat custom modification to this car. Uh, the quarter panels are reproductions, full quarter panels, and that was the only way to go on this car. Um, like any reproduction, panel fit was difficult and took a lot of time, but I think well worth it. Again, doing body work and paint is a process that takes a lot of patience and a lot of time. Um, this process took roughly, I believe about 10 months um, over the winter. And I, I would paint when the weather was nice, use little heaters here and there. And the primer, paint, and clear was all done in aerosol cans and turned out fairly well for, uh, for doing it in an old garage. Um, like any paint job, I would put enough clear on knowing that I needed to do some wet sanding and some buffing to make it look nice. Um, but I was really impressed with how the paint job turned out. Using aerosol cans is not the easiest thing to do, but if you take your time, um, aerosol cans nowadays have a really nice spray pattern and you can a lot of them have nozzles you can turn horizontal and vertical and you can actually paint sideways and up and down to eliminate tiger striping. I um, was really impressed with how it laid down and made a nice even finish with the green. This car is proof that you don't need to spend $10,000 on a professional paint job. I'd be proud to park this car next to any car at any car show. Here are a couple tips that I learned along the way during this process. Spend a good amount of time on your panel fitment and gaps. I believe this makes all the difference in having a presentable car when you're finished. I also was able to leave the doors attached to the car during the bodywork and painting process. Being a one-man shop, I really didn't know of any way to take them off and put them back on with just me being in the garage. I think this saved me a lot of aggravation. And when you apply clear, put a good amount of clear on because you want to be able to do some wet sanding and buffing after the painting process is done to make a nice finish. In my next video, I will do my best to show some pictures and discuss some of the custom modifications I've done to this car to make it a great driver.